Hello, this is Trevor. Today we're doing another XSS lab in Port Swiggers Web Security Academy. This time we are exploiting XSS to perform CSRF. The lab contains a stored XSS vulnerability in the blog comments function. To solve the lab, perform CSRF tech to change email address of someone who views the blog post comments. And we have our own account that we can use to see how that uh, functions. Okay, well, let's get started. Remember, it's Wiener Peter. Please remember to like and subscribe. Uh, give me a comment. Let me know how I'm doing. So we've got a vulnerability in the blog comments. Let's check that. Uh, script console.log this is vulnerable and end script name email and we'll submit that back to blog inspect console Ah, sweet. So that is how we'll um, do the XSS. And then it said we need to go my account, Wiener Peter. Let's say is Tom at Tom Tom dot net. Update email. So this is what we want our exploit to do for the victim. Oh no. Let's do that. Test two at second test dot net. All right, let's look at that. Here it is. It does have a CSRF token. All right, but just the email and the CSRF token, the session token will come from the victim. It's a uh, form URL encoded. That all looks fine. So what we need to do is the same thing we've done before. Um, read this page, inspect, which is the my account, grab the CSRF token, and then submit it uh, with the email address that we want them to change to. Sounds good. So let's get to writing our code. Vim, what are we going to call this? Perform CSRF. Then perform CSRF.py. Let's start with our template. First thing we want to do is let's copy from one of the ones that we've just done. So one of these alt solutions. Let's uh, do the last one. We want to know we need this. We don't need the second. We don't need a second post. We don't need a timeout. Name. We don't need that. Oh, we could use this random string for nah, what well, we changed the email to, but that's okay. Log info random name is, so this is what we need. Git, we need git post HTML. We'll, we'll modify this, git CSF, and then this. I think this is all that we need. Let's uh, take that and 
decide what we're going to do with it. So payload equals triple quote that. Move this into it. And I'm just going to name this post ID. Post ID will be. I don't want post ID here because get await fetch. No, this doesn't need to be this because they are going to just get remember the this page the slash my account will be the URL that we get so slash my account is what they need we'll await the response return to HTML That looks fine. Get the CSRF token. Again, we don't need post ID. I don't believe. Get post HTML. We want get, let's change this to my account HTML. My account HTML. And we want to delete that word. We want to parse it. Get elements by name. Is that what it is? So get my account. If we look here for the form, here's the form. The name is CSRF. Ooh, no ID. So how do we? Get elements by name, CSRF zero dot value. That should work just fine. Post comments. We don't uh, want to name this post comment. Uh, let's do it. Change email. Change email. We don't need post ID. Creds is wrong. Maybe we should accept the email. We'll see if we want to do that. CSRF token will be get CSRF token. Again, don't need the post ID. URL is not that. It's the this URL. So let me just copy this. Here. And then the body, this is going to be email CSRF. We don't need to copy that. Three. Here we want to put this here at CSRF. So I'm going to do dollar sign and then boom, CSRF token boom here's where we want uh, the email so I will do oh and it has to be URL encoded dollar sign CSRF token I'm gonna have to probably look up how to URL encode in JavaScript fetch post Let's do that real quick. P um, Chrome. And the reason I say it's got to be URL encoded because you see that here with the percent forty MDN. So I want to look from from Mozilla Developer. Is it network? I think um, JavaScript URL encode. Encode URI. That looks right. Coded. Yeah. Looks good to me. Encode URI. Easy 
peasy. So we'll do const encoded CSRF token equals encode URI URI Did I spell that right? No, I did not. R I C S R F token. And then we'll do the email const encoded email. Ah, I'm doing see that? I default to uh Python case. <laughs> encoded email equals encode URI and then we want email here. Perfect. Here we're gonna put I put CSRF token which was wrong to begin with. Encoded CSRF token and encoded dang it what am I doing encode I put it change word encoded email oh goodness and then we're gonna change word to e n c c s r f token that looks good content type form URL encoded we got the body all right I'm happy with that we needed to find the email or somewhere when we pass that in let me check how do we call let's check in here so we can call this without any await All right, let me just copy that. Here. And instead of remember, post comment, we want change email. And here we want the email. Um, let's just put this into JavaScript. What email do we want to, let's, let's call it you pwned at sucker dot dot org. That sounds right. You pwned sucker dot org. Yep, that's definitely the right the right call there. <laughs> so we changed email. We've uh Got the CSRF token, use that to change the email. All of that looks right. Oh, we don't have any F strings. Creds post ID. We don't need this at all. And we don't have any F strings, right? So we need to go through and remove all of these. And we don't, I mean, if we decide later we want to move this variable contents to Python, we can put the F string here, but for right now we don't. So I'm going to go through and remove all of these double curly braces. This time I'm going to get every single one on the first try. So I can do percent uh, or colon percent S slash double and then switch that for single and I can do it globally and I can do the same for the single percent s slash or the I mean the close slash one slash g see a little every day I get a, just a little bit smarter a little bit better at doing this uh, we need post ID because that's where we're going to post our this is our um, payload script that looks good let's see how we go about posting blog post we just need post ID 
comment equals payload. That's it. All we had to do is change, use session writing to have the victim change their password or their email address. And we do that here. I'm saying log dot is solved. I'm saying this is done and it's a quick one because of all the work we've done in the past. Post ID one. So remember, this is where our payload's gonna be posted. All right. Well, let's give it a shot. And it didn't say in the instructions. that there's a simulated victim, but I assume that there is, unless stored excesses. I assume that there's a simulated victim. At least I hope so. We can give this a shot. We got perform CSRF, paste that. Hey, hey, one and done. That's awesome. I think that's the first time in all of these videos that I've solved it on the first time I thought it was solved. Well, congrats. Um, that was a cool one. But, you know, we used, we put a lot of work into previous ones and it paid off here. So just to recap, um, we first decided uh, what form we wanted to uh, perform the CSRF attack on. It was the change email form, which is on the My Account page. We looked at that form, and it required a spec a CSRF token. So using JavaScript. Excuse me, we got the victim to visit that page and visit that form and then to get the CSRF token, read it. And we did that by turning by, you know, fetching that page, performing a get on the my account, turning that into something we could parse. And uh, once we did, we were able to run get elements by name to get the CSRF token we wanted the first one and just the value. And that's how we got the CSRF token value. Then we use that in a submit. So in a post to the form uh, endpoint, which was my account slash change form, we changed their email and included the CSRF token. Uh, we did URL uh, encode that using the JavaScript URI encode encode URI function for both the CSRF token and the email address. And then we posted that uh, and that was it. We changed their email to you pwn sucker. And uh, that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Goodbye.